Here we have a very nice looking 2009 Vauxhall Corsa Active, three door hatchback in silver. Now starting with the offside front tyre, we're looking at a good three to four millimetres of tread, so enough there. Um, offside front tyre, alloy does appear to be in good condition, it's a good clean up, one or two light scratches but no curb marks or any scuffs. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, body does look very nice, no dinks or any dents at all down the offside of the car. Looking around the front arch here, it does appear to be in a nice clean condition. Mirror looks nice and clean. Driver's door also in a great condition. Yeah, it's just a bit of tar. Very clean looking door there. One or two light scratches around the door handle just requires a polish. And a couple of touchings may be required on the door edge there, as there's a couple of light nicks. Apart from that, driver's door does look very clean. Moving towards the rear arch, also appears to be in a nice condition. Rear tyre, we're looking at around 3mm of tread there, possibly a little bit more. And the offside rear alloy, once again no curbing or any scuff marks at all there, just one or two light marks. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle, looking at the rear bumper, looks very clean towards the offside. There is one or two touchings required on the rear tailgate there, one or two light scratches as well. Now this is probably the extent to the damage or the most damage on the vehicle. This is a light little scuff, it's took the paint off there so it requires a bit of paint. These light scratches should polish without an issue. As you can see there's a bit of a scratch there as well and just above or just below the rear light there. So there is some light scratches below the rear light but that will require some paint. Apart from that I can't spot anything else. As you can see it's just a bit of a brush on or with another object or car just on the bumper there. Looking inside the boot, as you can see you've got your parcel shelf, nice clean condition. Taking a look under there you can see we have got a spare wheel in there as well so that's spot on. Near side rear tyre we are looking at around 3 to 4 mil of tread. Near side rear alloy also in a very clean condition, no curbing or any scuff marks at all there. Looking down the near side of the vehicle once again bodywork looks immaculate. I couldn't spot any dinks or any dents at all there. There's barely any scratches either, it's definitely been taken care of. A couple of little nicks in the door edge. And there is one or two light little scratches, again they should polish without an issue. One or two light little marks on the mirror as well. Front arch looks nice. And the front tyre looking at around 5 to 6 mil of tread there. Front alloy, a little bit of a kerb there as you can see. And some scuffs and marks as well. So potentially this alloy could do with a refurb. Again, that appears to be it there. Um, even around the front bumper, one or two light little stone chips could, uh, could do with some touchings. And again, just one or two light stone chips to the bonnet. No signs of any damage at all to the front bumper though. Everything looks very well. Like I said, just some stone chips to the front bumper, and that appears to be it. Now, take a look at the interior. Full cloth interior, driver's seat appears to be in a nice condition, no signs of any damage at all. And take a look in the back seat. Now, it definitely had an animal in here, it was, there was white hair, you can still see some of it there, there was white hair everywhere in the car. Um, so it's definitely had a dog in here, but smell wise it doesn't really uh, smell like it's had a dog in here to be honest. Uh, it's ob obviously kept the air fresheners topped up. Uh, regardless of that, uh, back seats are in mint condition, no damage, etc. Front passenger seat also in a good condition as well. So it is nice inside and out, no marks at all on the dash, wheels in good condition as well. Now step inside the vehicle itself, two sets of keys with the vehicle, so that's Bob on. If we just get this door shut to get the car started for you guys. That has got the, uh, the wheel lock on there. I do apologise for this, I'm just going to put the, uh, the camera down for a second. There we go, no problem at all starting the vehicle. Just start first time with no issues. Very low mileage, 30,519 miles on the clock with no symbols appearing on the dash there. You've got a multifunction steering wheel. You've got a nice little Parrot foam kit there as well. No problems at all with the radio, works perfectly fine. Air conditioning comes out nice and cold as well and there's no issues with any of the blowers. So again it all looks and works exactly how it should, obviously a manual transmission. Taking a quick look at the documents, looking at the V5, believe it or not the cars had four owners. Uh, MOT certificate and here March 10th 2015, so plenty left on the MOT. And service history wise, just to top it off we have got full Vauxhall service history, so 3, 6, 16, 21, 25 
and that was your last service at 25,000 miles. As you can see, mileage-wise, it's done around 5,000 miles since its last service, so it has been serviced quite recent, to be honest, but plenty of service history with the car. They have a very nice-looking 2009 Vauxhall Corsa Active. Great little cheap car. Um, seems to run perfectly fine. Low mileage, full service history as well. Very nice-looking car for its 